Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be doing sous vide ribeye with a side of bacon wrapped asparagus and cauliflower mashed potato. We're keeping it low carb today, so let's get started. A shout out to Fresh Market for providing me with these two gorgeous ribeyes. Now, myself, I like to season my ribeyes 45 minutes to an hour before I either sous vide them or reverse sear them. Maybe I'll do a video on reverse sear one of these days. Uh, but today we're doing sous vide. So um, we're going to just start off by seasoning the ribeyes with a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. And don't be afraid. Just put that salt on there because it's just going to soak right on in. Get both sides really good. Next, we're going to hit it with a little bit of garlic powder. Same deal, get it on both sides really good. Don't be shy. These ribeyes are about a couple or about a pound a piece. And then last, we're going to hit with some freshly ground black pepper. If you don't have a pepper grinder, ground black pepper will do. But I always like to use freshly ground on my steaks. Now, after I put the pepper on, what I like to do is just take the back of a spoon and just kind of work the seasoning into the steak. Like so. Flip that over one last time. Get the pepper on the other side. Work that in. And this is going to go in the refrigerator now for 45 minutes to an hour. What's going to happen is the salt's going to pull the moisture out of the meat, and then it's going to suck it back in, making for a delicious, juicy steak. So let's get this in the fridge, and we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, while our ribeye is in the refrigerator doing its thing, we'll go ahead and get the Instant Pot ready for sous vide cooking. Now, if you've never heard of sous vide, it's a great way to, to cook a thick steak. It, you almost get a foolproof perfect cook whether you like it rare medium rare medium medium well or well done although who the hell is going to cook a ribeye well done no offense but come on guys anyway what we're going to do is uh we're going to bring our water up to temperature and submerge our ribeyes which are vacuum sealed in plastic bags into the pot of water which is going to be set at 110 degrees we're going to put that in the pot for about two hours, and that will bring the ribeye in equilibrium with the water temperature, and we will have a perfect top-to-bottom cooked steak ready to go onto the cast iron. The Instant Pot makes sous vide cooking so easy. Um, I've never used a, a actual sous vide circulator, but this thing nails my water temperature within a couple of degrees. So uh, what I'd done was I filled the pot up to the halfway mark with water, just tap water out of the sink. And then I'm just going to put the lid on. Always love that little jingle. And then right here is the sous vide function. So we're going to set it for sous vide cooking. And by default, it's at 140 degrees, but we do not want that. We want to set the temperature to 110 degrees. We'll bring this down to 110. Right there, and then next you will set the time. So I'm going to go ahead and set the time for four hours, even though we don't need it for four hours. Um, 
for this thickness steak, anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and a half should be good enough. I'm probably going to do it for two hours. Um, the nice thing is the water's never going to be hotter than 110 degrees, so you can leave it in there for four or five hours. You can't overcook the steak. That is the beauty of sous vide. So we're going to go ahead and hit the start button. And the Instant Pot is going to get the water up to temperature by the time the steak is ready to come out of the fridge. We will go ahead and bag it, vacuum seal it, and get it into the pot. So let's come back in a few minutes. Okay, guys, while the ribeye is doing its thing in the fridge, let's go ahead and start preparing the bacon-wrapped asparagus. Let me tell you something, guys. Ain't nothing better than bacon-wrapped asparagus. Goes great with steak. Super easy to make. So let's get started. Okay, so I've snapped off the ends of all the asparagus, and just in case you don't know what that is, what you want to do is you want to take your asparagus, and just like about an inch in from the end, just put your thumb there until it snaps off. And that's prepared and ready to go. Okay, next thing we do is we wrap the asparagus in bacon. You can see I have one done here already. And what we're going to do is we're going to take four pieces of asparagus, and I like to try to get the tops about as close as they can to even and the bottoms don't worry about too, too much about that and we're gonna take a strip of bacon put it right near the top and then we're just going to kind of spiral it down the asparagus until we get to the end of the bacon and then what i like to do is just take and twist it and as i'm twisting it work it towards the ends of the asparagus and then you got it. I mean, that is so easy. We'll do that with the other two, and they're eventually going to go in the air fryer, and they're going to be a delicious side with our ribeye. Okay, so a couple minutes ago, I heard the little alarm go off that the water was to temperature, and the pot started counting down from four hours. You can see it now it's at three hours and 50 minutes, which is more than enough time we need to do the steak. Um, what we want to do is just, uh, just to keep Instant Pot honest, we're gonna go ahead and check the temperature of the water. Love that jingle. Okay, so I've got a little instant read thermometer here. I'm gonna dip it in the water. And we had set it for 110, and it's coming out at 111. I don't know if you can see that. I'll lock that. And you can see right there, that Instant Pot nails it within a degree or two of every time. I love this thing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and vacuum seal the ribeyes. Now, I already did one, and I don't have a vacuum sealer. What I have is what I refer to as a redneck vacuum sealer, and that is a dollar store zipper bag and a straw. And uh, against my better judgment, I'm going to demonstrate this for you. So you basically you want to put your stake into the bag and seal the bag all the way up to the straw. Just leaving enough room for the straw to go in. I'm going to pinch the bag and then you want to suck that air out. And as you're pulling the straw out, you push your thumb and seal it, and that gives you a good seal. I mean, you can't beat it for a nickel. Now, every now and then, you are going to suck down a piece of sea salt, and that just goes with the territory. If you don't like that, go spend the money on an air on a, on a vacuum sealer. What can I tell you? All right, now all that is left to do is to submerge our ribeyes in the Instant Pot. So what we'll do is we're just going to take each ribeye. We're going to put it in there. And then here's a little pro tip is I take a bottle of water and use that as a weight to push the ribeyes fully down. Like so. Real simple. We're going to put the lid back on. Alexa, who's talking to you? Hmm, I'm not sure. Alexa's got an attitude. Anyway, we're ready to go. Okay, so normally I like to do a potato with my ribeye, but I'm doing low carb right now, trying to drop a few pounds. So we're going to be doing a mashed cauliflower, which is actually pretty good. So um, what we got here is if I step over here, is we got some cauliflower florets. I use the fresh cauliflower that I pieced up, but you could use frozen florets if you want. I got four ounces of cream cheese, two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Yep, I said mayonnaise. Two tablespoons of sour cream, 
half a teaspoon of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and there's actually four garlic cloves in there. We're going to use half of that, and we're going to use the other half when we sear the steak. So we're going to go ahead and get the, um, the cauliflower into the pot and steam it, and I'll be back, and we'll turn this thing into some mashed potatoes. Okay, we got the water boiling, and we'll go ahead and drop the cauliflower steam pot into the boiling water. Alexa, set a timer for eight minutes. Eight minutes. Starting now. See you in eight minutes. Okay, the cauliflower steamed and tender. And now this next step is, I guess, kind of optional if you have a food processor, but I recommend doing it anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a light mash with a potato masher, and then we're going to start transferring the cauliflower into the food processor and make our mashed cauliflower. And there you go. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and spoon about half of our cauliflower into the food processor. I mean, you could try to do all of it. This is just one head of cauliflower. And when I make this, I usually do it with two heads, but I already have some mashed cauliflower. Um, I just wanted to make this for the video. So, you know what? Actually, I take that back. I am going to put all this in because it's not that much. This was kind of a smaller head of cauliflower any way. Okay, we got the cauliflower into the food processor. And what we're going to do now is pulse it and uh, start to loosen it up a little bit. Put the lid on and just kind of pulse. Maybe about 10 pulses to get things going. And you'll see it'll start to take off, and you'll know it's getting to that point of creamy deliciousness. And I think that's good enough here. Now we'll go ahead and add the um, sour cream. The mayo. Salt. Pepper, about half of that garlic because the other half is going to be used with our ribeye. And last but not least, the cream cheese, which by now is kind of soft. Just drop that in and let the food processor do its thing. Oops. Okay, I had to stop it and uh, just kind of move the cream cheese around. It wasn't quite as salt as I thought, but this stuff is now absolutely perfect. It has got a nice consistency. Let's see if we pull the spoon out here. I don't know how well you can see that in the video, but look at that. I mean, that is just like a mashed potato. Hmm, and it's damn good. Okay, guys, remember when I told you that bacon-wrapped asparagus is not only delicious, but super easy to make? You want to know how easy? Let me show you how easy. Alexa, set the air fryer for 11 minutes at 400 degrees. Air frying for 11 minutes at 400 degrees. Yeah, that easy. And there you go. Okay, now that we have the mashed cauliflower and the bacon wrapped asparagus done, we've had a couple hours in the sous vide pot and it's time to take out the ribeye. Okay, so I'm just gonna let you know ahead of time, when they come out of the sous vide, they might look a little different than what you're used to, but trust me, trust me, trust me, these things are going to be delicious. Okay, guys, it's go time. We got the uh, cast iron heated up to about 500 degrees. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the vent on. So it's going to get a little loud in here, but I'm, gonna, I'm going to hit this with a sear for about one minute on each side. And then I'm going to throw a half a stick of butter 
some rosemary sprigs and some garlic and we're going to go ahead and baste it. So let's go. All right, that about wraps that up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut off the electric and we are gonna plate this up and have at it. All right, guys, let's just see what we got going on here now. I'm telling you that this knife is just falling through the steak. As you can see, we've got a perfect medium rare all the way through. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you get a chance to make this recipe in your kitchen. I'll catch you on the next one.